is 7 News. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 7 News at 10 tonight. I'm Destiny Fuller. Tara Bates has the night off. We're continuing our City of Lawton 2040 CIP coverage in light of the upcoming election. And tonight we're taking a deep dive into Lawton's public transportation. 7 News reporter Seth Marsicano spoke with the general manager for the Lawton area transit system on how, if extended, they could use CIP funds. Seth. Destiny, there are two large ongoing projects for Latch, which are the new transfer station and the move towards hybrid electric buses. Listed in the 2040 CIP Resolution of Intent, the Lawton Area Transit System is listed to receive $3 million should this vote pass. Ryan Landers, the LACS General Manager, says in the past CIP has been very important in buying new buses. He adds if this extension passes, those funds wouldn't just be for new buses, it would go towards the new transfer center. We, we just don't have the public uh, or passenger amenities that the public deserves. I mean, um, it's, it's really unfair for, for people to kind of stay outside um, waiting on, to transfer to, to another vehicle, you know, whether it's the winter, the dead of heat. We do get a lot of complaints that, you know, there, there are no restrooms. These are issues Lander says the new transfer center will fix for the riders. However, it will also benefit LATS employees. Right now, we're, we're in a um, maintenance facility that is over 20 years old. It's it's difficult to uh, to work on buses. It, um, we uh, at times have to work out, outside because we don't have enough room to to work on those buses. You know, we're we're just looking, you know, for the future, making it making sure that we can uh, still provide that safe, reliable service that uh, the public's known known from us. Lander says it's important for the city to leverage CIP dollars for federal grants. Hypothetically, you you get uh, it's a twenty million dollar project. You want to use eighty percent of that on federal dollars, and then the remaining twenty percent you can use as local money. Get, basically, you're getting more bang for your buck, so you can get better systems, uh, you, or better buses, better facilities that can last a little bit longer. However, the catch is you have to keep up with the federal government standards, which is why Landers aims to invest in electric hybrid buses. So if you can show that the you know the the system that you're at or the city that you're at is wanting to invest into alternative energies, they're going to want to put. Federal, federal dollars for new facilities, upgrading facilities, upgrading your vehicles, and so they're, they're looking at those investment opportunities. As a reminder, this election takes place on August 27th. We have a more in-depth breakdown over the CIP proposal on our website at kswo.com. And as the election day grows closer, we want to hear the community's opinions on the proposed projects, like the money that's going towards LATS or any other area. Leave a comment on our Facebook page or send us an email so we can share your thoughts. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Seth Marsicano.